Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Good morning, sunshine. Good, Good morning, morning, sunshine. sunshine. <laughs> That's right. If you're watching right now, you will know what we're talking about, right? No? You don't know? Oh, come on. It's happening right here, right now. Everyone's talking about it. We're talking about Titus Slow. <laughs> Titus Low. Probably he do it better than me. Of course, I mean he's doing it for a living, right? He's making so much money out of it. Yeah, he's uh he reminds me of this this person called Annabelle Chong. Those of you who are in in my era will know this person, Annabelle Chong. But uh, of course this is the male version. Who is Annabelle Chong? It's your mom's era. <laughs> you just need to Google it. Guys, don't Google it, don't Google it. Come on, spare your eyes. I think I think they they, they, they both share similar background. Uh, only child, family have a bit of money and uh, educated and all that mm. stuff. So very interesting. These these two share similar profile. Of course Annabelle went, went to become one of the very famous Singaporeans. But this this guy Titus has did very well, I must say. Obviously he's very good at mm. uh, showing his um, cuckoo bird. So he basically makes what, what a five-figure income per month. I mean, if I can show my cuckoo bird that makes so much money, wow. Who needs to work anymore, right? I think he's my idol right now. And I'm like probably blaming myself for all the seaweed chicken, the McDonald's, the KFC, you know, if I would have his body and, you know, put a bit of effort with some tattoos. I mean, I don't really ask for much. Maybe just like 10k a month with you. But looking at his, his body, I, I would feel that there's a lot of work to be done. Actually, when I know you before, last time you also quite buff one. Yeah, but what? that time there's no OnlyFans. So, hey, my wife, I'm so sorry if you're watching this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's not. So the houses that he's even staying in, so beautiful, it's so big, right? He even drives a Lamborghini, right? Yeah. Apparently, I mean, from his videos, from his pictures, mm. he, he looks like he owns a, a Lamborghini. Whether is it rented is another question. But nevertheless, I feel that he's a, such a rebel, no? They have this Chinese saying, right? Nan ren pu hua, ni ren pu ai. I think this thing, uh, this thing will actually make him even more famous, eh? I agree. I mean, of course, the authorities are trying to bring mm. him down, but I'm not too sure, no? Mm. The kind of media attention and the kind of uh, attention from authorities uh, might actually be lifting him up to a pedestal mm. right now. But I feel that the law that we have that is charging him, you know, for transmitting his cuckoo bird online, uh, I think it's uh, a little bit outdated and, you know, really past its prime. Uh, what do you think? I think that's for sure. Uh, and I'm just wondering, how did Annabelle get away with it? And is there a statue of limitation? that will go back to Annabelle. Yeah, but the, the thing is, I feel that it's very not fair. Like, because when a girl does it, right, mm. people will be asking for more. But, but when a guy does it, uh, people are complaining, eee, the cuckoo bird very ugly. Maybe the cuckoo bird got more than three strands of hair. Like Pua Chukang like that. Sponsored by Adidas. Exactly. Three strands. Definitely, we, we can explore a bit of uh, loopholes over here. Like. Mm, sure. Right? Although we have this law, we're talking about transmitting, so it's illegal to pretty much transmit um, Illicit, they call it illicit mm. contents online. But then the definition of illicit is another another thing, mm, right? Of course. So, so why is it that the, uh, a, a woman when they, they show their nipples is actually illicit? Then when a guy show or uh, uh, explicit become explicit, how is it? How does it work? You know. To begin with, if you're in Singapore, there's always this unfair advantages. There's women charters, but there's no men charters, right? So basically, Titus, if you're watching this, you know, maybe just to share with you how you can do a bit of a loophole because. Uh, I saw your recent statement, you actually said that you will continue to give contents to the people who actually want to see you. I have totally no objection to that because to me it's like, well, if you have it, you should flaunt it, right? Yeah. I mean like if you see a girl outside there, they wear deep cut, you know, all the all the long cow, all can see one, then what's the, what's the hey, problem? Shoe paper. Yeah. And then they wear very tight dresses just to show off their body. It's, it's similar, right? Just in a, in a different way, you know? Exclusive manner. If you are transmitting any illicit photos or videos in Singapore, you are under the law. What if you do it in Malaysia? What if you take your OnlyFans whatever content and just step inside Malaysia JB, use the IP, then you upload it? Or you could take a boat, mm. go to the border, take the Malaysian signal, <laughs> and listen. But a bing. Then you're transmitting from a different country, right? Does it yeah. make sense? Or even better, you use the use the SD card. Like how the recent uh, drug trafficker hide under the uh, Indomie, etc. You use your SD card, hide inside Gardenia bread, and you send it to Malaysia and get your administrator down there to fresh for you. produce, fresh produce, right? In brinjals or cucumbers, I don't know, or bitter god. <laughs> 
depending on what size you want. <laughs> and after that, you send it to Malaysia, then you get someone there to help you to upload mm. it. Like I say, this this law, I feel that it's a bit outdated. I think they keep it there for a certain reason. Yep. And once in a while, you know, they just whack mm. people like that. Maybe, maybe, I'm just thinking, the law is there, but who's the executioner? I think it might be IRAS, you know, because he's not paying tax, why? Does he need to pay tax? Do you think that's accessible income under IRAS Singapore? No man, it's out of his, out of his jurisdiction. Get it? Yeah. Out of his jurisdiction. <laughs> That's such a dick move you got there. Yeah, Titus, so you might consider doing that, you know, moving yeah. moving into this direction. Mm. Or any any other OnlyFans creators who have to actually recalibrate your business model. Huh? Yeah. And we're always open for, for this type of uh, consultancy. Nah. You can call us, you know, and then we will let you know a bit more. Hire him as manager. So we hope to see more contents from you. I mean, actually not, not me. For the girls out there, I mean, uh, and, and the other mm. guys who, who think that, you know, you have a very nice cuckoo bird. Yeah, so good luck to them. And mm. also good luck to you in the uh, incoming charges that you're facing. So God bless you. Only fans. Only fans. <laughs>